Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing fine today. So today I have um, a, a state of collection, but actually not my collection, it's my wife's collection. And I thought it might be interesting to uh, know. My wife wasn't actually a watch fan. She never had or never thought about owning a watch before uh, we met. And uh, after we met, as you can see, that's uh, that's her collection now. She's actually wearing one of her watches uh, right now. She uh, went out with it, so couldn't add it to the collection. But uh, she also wears my watches a lot. She takes my day just. She loves it. Um, she's always almost... She's now owning <laughs> my Tudor uh, Submariner, the 33.5 millimeters, the 94400. Um, but... Uh, yeah, she enjoys, she has another taste than, than I do, but she enjoys watches all the same. So I thought I'd uh, give you a, a quick video on uh, her watches and uh, the reasoning behind uh, each of the watches. Um, so some of the watches that she has now were actually my watches when I was younger. So um, on the left side here, as you can see, this Orient is one of my first watches. By the way, I'm wearing my Delma, which she's also wearing right now uh, a lot of times because of this white uh, rubber strap. Because uh, white rubber on white dial and two-tone just gives it a more of a feminine look, but I love it anyways. The watch, it's a, it's a quartz watch, which she loves also because she doesn't have to wind it or uh, set it up. Um, so for her, quartz are, are, are fairly uh, more usable than and mechanical watches uh, by the way this is also quartz but i have to change the battery so the good thing after doing this video is i know which watches need uh, new batteries so this was my watch when i was like around uh, uh, 10 years old uh, my father started me with uh, some orient some some other uh, 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 japanese watches quartz watches and i was really happy with this watch because it has the the weekday and the month day as you can see here and it's actually uh, yeah it's small yeah it is small <laughs> i think it's around like 28 millimeters or something like that and i think it might be uh, one of the watches that started my my uh, my love for for uh, watches and symmetry because uh, it has two dials uh, it's white dial uh, it looks very classical and uh, I really like the watch. That's why it was one of the first watches that I actually gave her. Because I had uh, most of my older watch collection in Egypt, where I come from. And then when I came here, uh, I, I brought it with me. Uh, every time I brought a couple of more watches. And then uh, when I met my wife and we got married, I started uh, to getting more watches uh, back from Egypt. And starting to give it to her. Because, uh, yeah, uh, better she is wearing them than nobody's wearing them. So that's the first watch. The second watch is something that actually I got it from my grandfather as a kid as well. Uh, it's another quartz watch and uh, it's a Fortis. It's one of the watches that uh, started my love also for fine watches. As you can see, it has a moon phase. It has these beautiful, beautiful hands and beautiful golden numerals, combination of a black bezel golden body and you can see the the da vinci uh, just want to get it more fixed as you can see and you have this awesome small uh, stone on the side gives it a very classical look and i actually was wearing this until maybe i was 16 17 uh, on a bigger bracelet. I got this bracelet for my wife. It's a crocodile tapered bracelet because tapered bracelet is more feminine uh, in my opinion. I have a couple of tapered bracelets for myself but they go from 20 to 16. This is going from like I think maybe 14 if I'm not mistaken or 16 to 10 or something like that. So it's pretty thin but the watch is it's very beautiful as you can see the the, the dial has has uh, has like a texture to it I'm just trying to as you can see yeah the texture on the dial is just beautiful Fortis one of the watch manufacturers really underrated 
and really like them. I have a diver from them, and uh, I enjoy looking at this watch more than any other watch, to be honest, uh, in, in my wife's collection, because of the dial and the contrast and the, the moon phase. I, I don't even have a moon phase in my collection, but she has, so that tells you something. <laughs> Another watch that I have when I was a kid was the Citizen uh, Quartz with the diamond on top. And this was like my, uh, if I'm going to a wedding or going to a, a large family gathering or something like that, I thought, yeah, I have a diamond on top of my watch. That's like uh, the baller move, you know. And uh, I actually put it on this blue strap because uh, my wife loves the, the black blue combination on gold. Um, so I thought, yeah, why not get her a new strap? This is actually a 20 millimeter strap. So it's a, actually a, a vintage Accurton strap. And it is looking exactly like I thought it would look on this watch. Looking really nice. And I would actually still wear this watch until this day. Um because of the size it's classical size it's not a problem at all for me and it just looks really nice another japanese watch uh, this one is the orient uh, quartz and it was water resistant and for me at that time it was like uh, uh it was my father's i think from the 80s and for me it was uh yeah a baller <laughs> watch because it was golden and it, it looked bit massive than the other ones and uh, yeah of course I, I totally forgot about it until a couple of years ago I found it in the drawer and I thought my wife would love it would love it and she actually does just have to change the batteries and that shows you which watches does she wear the most because when she always wears a watch uh, that doesn't have a battery or the battery is dead she just leaves it picks the next one up and this gets us to my fa my wife's favorite watch. This is also my from my grandfather. Uh, actually, I didn't get it as a kid. I got it when he passed away uh, from my father's side. And uh, from my mother's side, I have other watches uh, that I took to my collection. <laughs> and it's actually a chronograph alarm from Claude Diller. I never heard of the, the, the brand. Search for it everywhere. But the watch is working until now. Everything is working fine. The alarm is working. It wakes us up sometimes. If we forget to open the, the, the crown, you have a lot of dials, a lot of buttons, a lot of functionality. And my love loves the two-tone. She's a big fan of the two-tone. She likes the gold, but her favorite is two-tone because it's more... Uh, yeah, sorry about that. More to her taste this combination of steel and gold and you have here buckle and I really like the watch and uh, she loves it as well and it, the size is, is normal I think it's 30, 37 millimeters something like this so speaking about two-tone that's her Tudor lady sub so her Tudor lady sub working great also send it to Give it a twist. Sent it to service a couple of months ago. The same person I sent my other Tudor sub. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. She loves small watches. She loves uh, uh, two-tone watches. So I thought that's a, a perfect watch uh, for her. Tudor uh, is a great brand. Make great watches. And uh, the Tudor Lady Sub is a classical watch. You have the Tudor Shield here. Tudor shield here, and you have here the Rolex case back. And even one of the things I really like about this watch, I don't know if the light will allow us to get it, is that there is an engraving in the middle of it, 1992. So that was actually also a cool thing that uh, when I bought the watch, didn't see it in the pictures. Oops. And uh, after that, I, uh, I I really liked it, or my wife also loved it. So, this is another watch. I got just got this one as a, let's say, a present from uh, 
Horst, who, 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 who attempted to fix one of my watches. Uh, mm, yeah, he fixed the case, let's say that. But the movement uh, came back worse than before. Anyways, he sent this watch as, uh, uh, as a gift. And even he sent uh, two straps, which I'm thankful for. Of course, I would love to have my watch uh, fixed, but yeah, that's life. You get some, you lose some, and you learn from all your mistakes. So it's a pretty small watch, 30 millimeter Kinsler, German watch, anti-magnetic. I put it on this uh, blue, as you know, my wife loves the blue and black. So I thought that might be to her liking and she likes it. She wears it a bit at home. It's a bit loud because it's manual wind, old movement, so it ticks loud. <clears throat> and now uh, this is a Gerard Perigot, also very cool watch. Actually, this watch was my mom's. She used to wear it when she was young. Now it's too tight for her, the bracelet. And it's a manual wind, still winds crisp. You can see there's three diamonds on the dial on the GP above. And to be honest, GP was way, way before everybody else with women's integrated bracelet. That's a, a very cool integrated bracelet. I would love to have something like this for men. I saw the, the, the Patek Neptune. Uh, that might be the answer for that. But it looks great. Just feels great and looks great. So we come now to my wife's two favorite watches. She loved this is this looks just like a Cartier tank, but it actually it's a Favre Loibe tank. Favre Loibe is one of the very early watchmakers. It's a Swiss made watch. It's a manual wind and it looks like a tank. It ticks like a tank. It has even the, 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 the rock on the side, the gold uh, 30 micron uh, uh, plating case golden dial but it was much cheaper than the tank and my wife loves it anyways so that makes me happy if she's happy and last but not least one of the watches that i bought recently for her was the selvita it's a americana style tank as you can see this is the tank tank and this is the longer size she loves this case size she loves the, the the square so i thought she might love this one as well and she did wearing it usually also and i got it on a i bought a, a, a lizard strap to 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 go with it and this was crocodile of course and it just looks pretty nice of course on my wrist it looks pretty small as you can see but these were actually men's sizes in, in, in the past. So men used to wear watches like this one. And uh, it was totally acceptable. So I hope you, you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. And uh, please leave a comment down below for what was your favorite watch. Or what do you get for your significant other? Do you get the, for significant other... Uh, 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 wife husband partner also watches where you uh, uh to to give them in this the hobby uh, with us i guess or uh, you get them something else bags or or uh, necklaces or jewelry i actually love to get my wife watches because uh, it gets her in the hobby and she understands a bit more why i'm a bit obsessed with watches so i hope this was uh yeah, a bit helpful, a bit entertaining, and uh, hopefully see you in the next one. I'll be making a state of my watch collection very soon, just waiting on uh, one new watch. So I will add it to the collection and then we'll make it. Yeah, hope to see you then and have a great one. Bye.